guys, Martha and Callie here today. What we want to go over is some of the safety items and travel items that you need when you're full-time RV living with a large dog. Stay tuned. we purchased for Cali for our RV as you can see is this dog couch cover and of course she got her own pillow reserved for the dog she loves laying on the couch so we got her a couch cover and of course it matches her fur one of the most important item that we purchased for Cali is this waggle we use the waggle for two main features it tells us the temperature and the humidity actually i guess that makes it three so the temperature humidity and whether or not we have power in the rv those are the three main things it runs off a separate verizon cell plan uh, martha will have all the details down below but this is 100 percent the most important thing because we're able to keep track of what's going on with the trailer the cool feature about this is we can access it from the waggle app on our cell phones anywhere and monitor kelly we have a harness and it's reflective. So when we take her out on our evening strolls, paired with this little glow stick, it's perfect because her being a darker fur dog, it's important that others see her at night when we're walking her. Of course, retractable leash, and every dog owner should know what this is. Poopy bags. Important note, clean up after your dog. Callie loves this little ball chuck item. so. <laughs> We like to take her in the fenced area play pins if they have them. It's a little more safer for her, but we can take this ball, chuck it. It glows in the dark. She loves it. All right, here is an awesome item. So in the evening, Chris and I use this for multiple reasons. So it's a headlamp, not just any headlamp. This is uh, a Brunton. Brunton, that's correct. And it has green lights, which is nice because it limits how many bugs get in our face. Yeah, so while we're walking Cali in the evening when the sun's going down, we want to make sure people can see us and we can see the path that we're on to make sure that we're not stepping on anything we shouldn't. In case a dog owner didn't clean up after themselves. That's an e collar. So the electronic collar has three functions it beeps, it vibrates, and it has a shock portion. We keep an e collar on the Callie just for her own protection and it's a training device. I very rarely have to ever use the shock function. Most of the time we just do a beep and it gets her attention and we're able to have a conversation uh, politely with her to correct her behavior or to uh, redirect whatever she may be doing. With that you can actually adjust the settings too. So I got this off Amazon and of course we got pink because Callie is a lady. So I'll link that below. It's important, so Cali uh, dry shampoo, but it's actually wet shampoo, <laughs> waterless shampoo. Yeah, there's a times where Cali might get into something, she stinks, or we don't have a quick chance to give her a bath, and uh, we can get, put that on her and it'll reduce the odor. The other thing that we got right here, um, pill-wise, is, well, actually, let's take a step back. Let's talk about kind of all this as a whole. Uh, all the items you're gonna see right here, minus this little green thing, are prescriptions. These are items that we keep in our trailer on a regular basis for Callie's safety and for her own uh, comfort. So we have gabapentin, which is like, we'll call it doggy ibuprofen. We have trazodone, and there's times where she might have anxiety or be a little hyper if we're gone for extended periods of time, and that's what that's for. We've got the uh, keto TRAS, which is an ear flush. Uh, inevitably dogs get dirty ears it's really important to keep them clean and that'll stop any chance of an ear infection martha takes care of both of these that's why the pretty handwriting is on there that is for deworming um, not that she has worms to make sure she doesn't get them so this is a heartworm treatment and this is for flea and ticks the other thing that i keep on hand is a super clot inevitably Dogs are gonna get their paws um, ripped or cut running around outside, or if I screw up with the next item that Martha's holding in her hand. So now I trim Callie's nails and then we file and buff them. Well, you gotta have a pretty pup. She is, as you said, a lady. She's a lady. 
So right. it's important to have a little doggy first aid kit with you on hand. You never know what's going to happen. Callie, her right ear kind of gets a little more dirtier than the other. Um, so we try to keep all this clean. Um, if you don't know, when Callie was one and at one and a half, she had ACL surgery on her right leg and then on her left leg six months later. So we walk her in the evening, one and a half to two miles, and then we bought that bike trailer and the e-bike. We want to make sure we can take her on these strolls, so we take her on the bike trailer so she can see the park and all the yep. wonderful adventures. It's important to have their health certificates, their certificate of vaccination, their rabies. So we have copies of these and we keep them with us on hand. We know that she has her paper documents so showing that she is healthy, she's current on all her shots. There are some tra uh, RV parks that require v proof of vaccination and health certificate. Mm -hmm. Another thing, if you're gonna be traveling to or from Canada, uh, maybe this way in Mexico, I'm not sure, but definitely for Canada, you actually have to have a veterinarian certificate saying that your animal's clean bill of health. So we have that as an example. Yeah, same for on the airline. So Cali has flown with us on Alaska Airlines, so it's always important to have current documentation on your pets when traveling. Because of Callie's uh, injuries when she was younger, we have her on a MSM Chondroitin um, for her hips and joints, and it's really good. It's glucosamine. Our vet recommended it, so it's something we keep her on. It's a little di a doggy dietary supplement. Um, another item we have is Chewbacca here, and this is just a, another item that Callie likes to play with. We always want to exercise her because she can get a little stir crazy being in the trailer. Um, if we're at, if I'm working and I can't play, or Martha's busy editing and we can't get out right away, so it's important that we exercise her on a regular basis, have some variety, and oh my God. Welcome to Callie's life. Callie loves the RV life, you guys. Oh my lord. She ain't acting like a lady right now. She got her bitch just hanging out. Hey, she's at home. As Martha said, she loves, loves, loves the trailer. All right, this right here is just a tie out. We keep this um, so that if we have her outside, uh, we have a way to keep her safe. Uh, it is extremely heavy duty because she's a very big dog. We don't ever leave her out without direct supervision. So it's important that you have some way to tie out your dog. Uh, this little cute bin here is just something that Martha picked up. And this is where we store all the goodies you hear, you see here. Yeah. Chris bought this for Callie. Being a daddy's girl, it's important that she has all her stuffies, all her squeakers. Another item that she loves is this huge Kong. It's full of kibble. It's actually just her dry dog food, and we leave it here, and she can knock it over, and if she's feeling a little snacky, it's just her dry kibble. One other item that goes along with the waggle that's very important is this WISE camera. So it's a W-I-Z-E. It is an internet-based camera that I picked up on Amazon for $20, and it works amazingly for the price. We're able to utilize an app and watch it remotely just like the Waggle. There's one other item in the trailer that we have that we specifically got for Cali. This is an upgraded thermostat. The factory one did not have the ability to work off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So when we were at the Alliance Rally, we had two Bluetooth Wi-Fi thermostats installed. This gives us the opportunity to control the thermostat on an app. And unlike the factory thermostats, which when the power went out, we wouldn't have the ability to restart it. In case the power goes out, I have the ability through an app to restart the thermostats. The one in the kitchen, which is where we're looking at right now, doesn't have the same functionality as the one in the bedroom. The one in the bedroom, of course, is the one that runs off solar, and that one will have constant power regardless if our 50 amp goes out. We'll be able to control that. On the video you saw us do about upgrading our solar, that was part of the consideration was that our front air conditioning unit runs off solar, so we are able, if we lose power, so Waggle tells us, I'm gonna walk through the scenario with us. So we're out of the day at Disney, we're playing at the park. Waggle goes off and sends us a text message saying, You're, you've lost power. We are able to immediately turn on the WISE camera and see what's going on there. If the WISE camera doesn't come on because we have no internet, 
we're able to go on and look at the thermostat in the bedroom and then turn the AC back on. The nice thing about it is the solar system has a separate power, so the plugs in there that it's hooked up through will continue to maintain power regardless if the coach has 50 amp power. So we always have a redundancy in place so that we are able to make sure that Cali's safe. Yeah, and that was another consideration when we were looking at RVs, which one is the best one for us. This toy hauler was the best one because it does have the solar plus package. So if we do lose power at the campground, our solar kicks in and then the waggle will tell us that we lost power and then we can still access our wise camera because this has a lot of 12 volt power in here that's integrated through our RV. Yeah, and then we can turn the AC back on and then um, of course we would immediately just return back to the trailer to figure out what happened and make sure Callie's safe. You showed the Cali corner. The no, I, I did not. I didn't okay. show them all. Oh. So, th yeah, go ahead and explain what this is. And I think that this is a very important okay. feature of what we've done for her. So we added another basket because we wanted to be able to put her retractable leash, her quick things in here. So she's got her, you know, her food dish, her food, and then the sign. Yeah, we think it's important to have a dedicated space for Callie. She had a dedicated space in her sticks and bricks, so this helps her feel more at home. We have a little mat down here that helps it not... <laughs> corral the kibble. <laughs> Call it what it is. Corral okay. the kibble. Yeah, when she's drinking her water, she gets it everywhere. I mean, she's, yeah, she's a Rottweiler, so it gives her her own space and it makes her feel more home for her. And she is not enthused about the YouTube life. She don't even care. She's like, I sleep and leave me alone. All right, so let's go outside and talk about the items that we use when we're driving or when we're on the road. Actually, follow me real quick to the patio. I'm going to show you Callie's most favorite spot. <laughs> All right. So this is one of Callie's favorite spots. She loves the side patio. She loves the back patio. It's a great relaxing place for her. We have the awning out so it's shaded the bed that she's on is a um, little raised mat we got at Costco and what we found is really important because the side patio is black and we can get direct sun it can be extremely hot so having an elevated bed that is not black in color has been a great option for Callie because even when it's warm outside, she's not gonna get burnt, which is really important. We wanna make sure, again, her health and safety is really primary. One more thing about the bed, it does have a little canopy, so if we wanted to, she could have her little pop-up canopy. If the awning wasn't working, which as you see right now, it is out, so. But this works as a great shade shelter for Callie, so she has the ability to come outside, be on her favorite side patio, be on her favorite side patio and have a little bit of a cover. Yeah. So we always carry a water dish with us. So this one's for the side deck or if we're gonna go hiking or something and go on long bike rides, it's important to have this. So it does collapse and the lakes go underneath. You just push a little buttons. So she, we have water for her everywhere. So we wanna ensure that she stays hydrated. Yeah, we picked that up at Camping World. Uh, like Martha said, it, it because it's collapsible and it's super lightweight and it's silicone, we're able to throw it in a backpack and always have a water bowl for her. All right, next we're going to go down to the truck. We're going to leave Callie up on the deck. All right, what you see here is called Callie's Chariot. She loves this. She sits in here. We actually bought, if you want to come in here closer, we bought the mat that fits this. Uh, it's by Doggy Hut. It's about two inches thick. Yeah. So one modification I did to Callie's little chariot here is I put a quarter inch sheet of plywood in the bottom because it is a soft bottom and there is a axle that runs across it. It splits the bottom of this in half. Uh, this zips up. So if it starts raining, we can just zip her in, but she likes to watch the world go by. So we have this out, perfect spot for, you know what? Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a treat hole. Yeah. On the front, it's mesh. But it does have a clear have, plastic. Yes. So if it gets a little too windy or rainy, we can always enclose it. Uh, she loves to look out, but it has so much good airflow, the tires, and it came with a little safety flag that says, hey, watch out. I think it's absolutely great investment. Well, as, as Martha mentioned, Callie has had um, 
ACL surgery on both of her rear legs. And we are only able to go about a mile and a half to two miles before she gets exhausted. And if we want to go anywhere for a long distance, we had to have an alternative to bring her along. The chariot was that option. So she can come along with us for a mile to two miles. And then once she gets tired, we have her jump in the chariot and she can go for a ride. And it allows us to really go out and extend what we do in our travels without jeopardizing her safety or health. Because we are in Florida right now and it's... Ooh, 88 degrees, partly cloudy. We're able to take Callie out during the day. So she can ride in her little sweet chariot all around on our ventures and we can walk her in the evening. We got this water dish from Camping World. It's really great. You it's... fill it up and you put the lid on and it's supposed to be spill resistant. So far it's true to its name. So as long as you don't fill beyond that line, the internal um, lip of the donut ring. Go ahead and put that back on so they can see what it is. So the donut ring here actually does a really jo good job of keeping the splash off. It's also got a real wide base which keeps it from uh, tipping or falling. So, so far we've been extremely happy with it. So I have a little dry mat for Callie. I do put that on there just in case because when she does drink she gets a little slobbery, slobbery everywhere. Not our baby. Because we do go on a lot of road trips and traveling I have a little weighted dog dish in there for Kelly. So this is a painted steel bowl with a rubber base. And with the bottom of it being rubber, it keeps it really, um, it, it keeps sliding it- sliding around. Yeah, it keeps it from sliding around in the back of the truck. So usually what we'll do is we'll have this and this side by side in the back of the hammock for the dog. And then she's able to have her food and her water without any issues. Oh. All right. Oh. And if you're wondering, I made this for Callie. Yeah, they don't make Callies. Oh my God, shameless plug. <laughs> All right, let's talk about here. What okay. do we carry extra? We carry extra poop bags because you never know. Yeah, real. we do. She's a Rottweiler. It's like a horse. Hey, she's healthy. <laughs> it's always important to bring extra water with you. So explain what you're holding and how many we bring. So Nalgene bottle. Oh, Venturesome couple snobby water so it's 32 ounces which fits in here perfectly on the large bowl we have three of these for cali yeah so one fills it in and we bring cold water with us we store it in the fridge and when it's a travel day we bring all the bottles out and put them in the truck and then of course being a large breed dog she goes through a lot of water yeah especially when it's hot out and humidity you want to make sure that your pet stays hydrated same with you Interesting couple of snobby water. Callie likes filtered water. She does. And she lets me know when it doesn't meet her standards. Yes. Let's talk about what's in the truck. Mama's bro dozer. What's behind door number one? Probably dog fur. <laughs> Probably dog fur. <laughs> Let's see, what's behind door number one? Nose art. Yes, if you have a dog, you'll understand this. You know, it's important to bring toys on the road. Dogs do get bored. Callie gets bored. If she's not napping. All right, so what we got here is a barricade that we bought. It just goes to the floor, up to the ceiling, and it works on the headrest. This barricade keeps Callie from jumping in the front seat while we're in the stores. Um, usually on this side over here, where old Ducky went, is where Martha puts the... Um, water and food and you can see it's enclosed on the side and I just have it hanging up there on the ceiling and Callie gets the entire back seat so let me back up so you can see that so she has the entire back seat to herself underneath the doggy hammock there is a board and Martha will go on and link this I can't remember the name of the actual company but we picked it up Ergo. K-U-R-G-O. So we picked it up at Duluth Trading Company while we we're still in Anchorage, Alaska. We thought it was a great idea because it extends over past where your lakes would go if you were sitting down. So it gives her the full true space of the back. And we're able to store things down below where yeah. your feet would go. 
So that's where Chris and I put groceries or things we don't want Callie getting into. Yeah, so all the way down here underneath, it, all the way across is completely open. Callie can't get to it. The, the important part, as Martha mentioned, is this bridge is the hole. Uh, of course, it came with a lightweight, like eighth inch uh, plywood, which did absolutely no good. And Callie literally broke it on her first day using it. So I pulled it out and I have put a uh, quarter inch plywood in all three of them. It mounts to the seats, so the Kurgo and then the doggy hammock, which she just busted the zipper on. Well, I can't blame her. The zipper popped off on it, so it's opened up. But the hammock and the Kurgo give her an entire back seat area that is safe, comfortable, and I don't have to worry about her hurting herself or getting in the front. And uh, God forbid, if anything happened as far as an accident, it's just one more piece of safety for her so that she doesn't go flying anywhere um, and injure herself or us in the process. You'll notice a theme when it comes to us and when it comes to our pets. It's about safety. It's about safety and comfort for them, for us, and to make sure that we're doing the best we can because we're choosing a nomadic lifestyle. We don't want them to be um, harmed in any way because of our crazy fun. Thank you guys for watching. Put down in the comments below if you think there's something we could find useful for Cali, something that you've used. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Thanks.